on the web. Welcome back to CTV News Channel. I'm Sarah Casagal. Ever wonder what Canadians would like to drive? A recent breakdown of top vehicles searched on autotrader.ca confirms several regional stereotypes with more on what trucks and cars Canadians are looking to buy. We are joined by Ian McDonald, Director of Marketing for Auto Trader. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. Hey Ian, Canadians have varying needs for cars in different parts of the country. So are, are these searches predictable or stereotypical to the area they live in? Well, in some ways. Um, so we analysed all of the searches on our website and mobile apps in quarter three of 2012. And then we split down the searches for different vehicles regionally to try and analyse some of those differences. And broadly what we can see is that in Western and Middle Canada, trucks are very, very popular. With, uh, in Alberta, for example, six of the top ten most searched for vehicles were trucks. And then as you move further eastwards into kind of Ontario, you see more imports, smaller, perhaps more fuel-efficient cars. Um, taking over the top ten and then in Quebec uh, a definite slide towards more luxury vehicles even with the Porsche 911 and even the Lamborghini Gallardo uh, sneaking in at the tenth spot of the most searched for vehicle in Quebec. So let's take a look at that. So you got Ford at number one with 25 percent. So uh, the Ford F-150 uh, is the most popular vehicle in Canada and, and North America generally and we see that both in the used and the new market. Uh, it, it actually accounts for over 2.5% of all the searches on autotrader.ca um, and that's driven, as I said, primarily by uh, the middle and western provinces but also uh, it's very popular in uh, Ontario as well. However, in Ontario the most searched for car was the Honda Civic which is obviously a very different type of vehicle. Uh -huh. Okay, and what else is on that list? So uh, the complexion of the list is interesting because you know, it's really starting to reflect changing tastes uh, with Canadians and, and the cars that they're looking to buy. Um, we see many more Japanese and European manufacturers making real market share gains in Canada now. You see cars like the Mazda 3, you know, there's two different models of Honda within the top 10. And we're even starting to see more luxury vehicles like the Audi A4 coming into the top 10 um, at the expense, I guess, of the market share of more domestic manufacturers. Are these results surprising at all? Uh, well, it's the first time that we've run the data in such a way, so um, it's hard to say quite how surprising they are. Um, but I do think that uh, they reflect some suspicions that some people have had about the way that the, the market share is changing among these different manufacturers. And I think it starts to definitely suggest um, some changing tastes in, in the kind of vehicles that Canadians are looking for. And that's driven by things like population density, fuel prices, uh, and other factors like that. Why do you think people uh, sort of like the international cars here? Well, I mean, the, the number of factors that affect uh, which car people are, are wanting to buy is, uh, obviously there's many of them. Um, one thing is clear though, that combination of factors, be that you know the exterior styling, the reliability, value for money is important. But one thing is sure is that those European and Japanese manufacturers are getting it right because, as I said, we're seeing them uh, gain more and more uh, share of searches on our sites and mobile apps. Now, are these searches a reflection of what was purchased in the end by buyers? Uh, not totally. So they reflect the demand and the interest in, uh, in these vehicles within Canada. So, so people are searching for these vehicles. Now, obviously, the vast majority of the time they're searching because they uh, intend on buying those vehicles. So roughly speaking, they can be used as uh, a proxy for the actual purchase and purchase intent. But then, as I said, um, you do see in, in some of the entries, like the Lamborghini Gallardo, uh, that's possibly uh, just people daydreaming a little bit more about what they might like to own one day. <laughs> sure. Okay, Ian, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Ian McDonald, Director of Marketing for Auto Trader. What do you give to the tallest man in America? How about the